This is a Volvo D13 high shift transmission, automatic, and the cruise control wasn't working. So I inspected, I removed the cover under the steering wheel, I inspected all the sensors that are related to the brake pressure, all the switches, and wasn't able to, to figure out what the problem is, but at the end I removed the covers from the right side around the brake pedal and as you can see there is a switch that goes with the spring right on the top of the brake pedal and this switch is sending the information to the ECU if the brake pedal is pressed or depressed right now I'm gonna press and depress you will hear a click this click means that the which is working technically and in my case this spring was down right there I don't know how it jumped on the other side of the brake pedal but if it's staying like this it always shows that the brake pedal is pressed and if the brake pedal is pressed you will not be able to turn on the cruise control right now I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about see the information the ECU is receiving information that the, the brake pedal is pressed right now so we will turn it on as you can see it's not working now As you can see the cruise control is not working just because the the spring it's released and the switch sends the information to ECU that the brake pedal is pressed. Right now I'm gonna do like this. I'm gonna turn on the ignition, start the truck and I'll show you that the cruise control is working. Just look here. As you can see right now it's working. So if I'm gonna press the brake, the cruise is gonna go turn off. As you can see the brake pedal is shooting down the cruise control. Let's do one more time. As you can see the cruise is one. Right now I'm gonna release the spring. Just look at this. The cruise is off right now. So I'll, right now the cruise is off and I will not be able to turn it on. Now I'm gonna put the spring back and you will see that the cruise control is gonna work again. As you can see right now it's working. Turn it off again. Just look. It's off. Sometimes a problem can be in the switch itself. To remove a switch, you should remove two covers that goes under the steering wheel. You will have one, two, three bolts on the bottom one. And on the upper cover, you will have just one bolt right here. Remove the bolts, remove the covers, lower the steering wheel, remove the upper cover. And after, you will have two bolts. One on the left, one on the right. Remove this plug right here. Remove these two bolts and take out the switch. This is another switch. This is how it looks. Now I'm gonna test if it works or not because I need to install it on another truck. Just connect the plug and after you can test it as you can see the plug is connected I'm gonna start the truck as you can see this one works too Now 
we're gonna connect all the plugs back we're gonna install all the covers and we'll go for a test drive 